Welcome to Sentry 1. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Sentry 1 in your environment. The first step we need to do is to log into the portal account and download the latest build of Sentry 1. Once we have saved the download to our local machine, we will want to copy the installation file to the server where we will be hosting our monitoring service. The next step will be to double click on the installation file. This will launch the installation wizard. This brings us to our end user license agreement. Here, I'm going to check the box marked I accept the terms of the license agreement and click the next button. At this point, we can decide where our installation files are going to be located and which features we are going to install on the server. These features include the client, monitoring service, and documentation. To disable any of these features, we can click on the disk icon and select entire feature will be unavailable. In this case, I'm going to leave all of these features enabled and then I'll click the next button. On this screen, we will need to enter the name of the server where the Sentry1 database will be installed and we can provide a name for the Sentry1 database. I will now test the connection by clicking on the test button. Once we see this dialog box, we can click OK and then the next button. Now we will enter the credentials for the monitoring service account. It is important to note that this account should have Windows admin permissions and if the account is not granted sysadmin permissions, it will need to have the SQL agent operator role in the MSDB database as well as control server permissions on each of your target servers. It may also need to be a security admin depending on the SQL Server version being monitored and must have at least DBO permissions to the Sentry1 database. Sysadmin is recommended. Once we enter this information, we can click the Test button to make sure that the account is validated. We can now click the OK and Next buttons to proceed. On this screen, I have chosen to send telemetry data to Sentry1. The data is used only to let us know how the tool is being used so that we can focus on where to concentrate our development efforts. This feature does not transmit your data. All we need to do now is to click the Install button to begin the installation. Once the installation finishes, we will be prompted to launch the client on Exit and we can click on the Finish button to do so. In the next video, I will walk through the onboarding wizard at the end of the installation. Thanks for watching.